I'm a believer in be you. So if being you is running around, making plays with your legs, hold on to that ball and that read option, throwing on a run, playing with excitement, playing fearlessly, I'm all for it. That's what I like. That's what got you. That's how when you were a youth, that's when you got to high school, college, now in the pros, that's what made you. We'll sit here and tell you, don't do it, don't do this. Don't listen to us. You know your body better than anybody <laughs> else. Yeah. Regardless of what the coaches say. They loved it last year. They had no fear. That's why they yep. put you out there in the playoff game. Because they love that excitement. I love watching that excitement. It's boring watching him sit back in the pocket now. He teased me Thank last you. year. Don't take it away from us. Does yeah. he do it? I think so. He this, made the comments. Okay. He made those comments. If I, if I heard right, you heard. he made those comments. I expect to see it. And this is a good game to do it against a Bears defense that's not as strong. Stephen A. Um, I think this is the game he does it because I think this is the game he has to. I believe that the Washington Redskins lose this game this season is over. I know they were three and six last year before uh, they turned things around. I don't see that happening two years in a row. The way they've looked is anemic as their defense has been for the most part. I think Haslett's job is on the line. That defense has simply got to play better. Their special teams is absolutely awful. They're pathetic. They're getting no production from them whatsoever. They've got to shore that up. But more importantly, my Lord, RG3 really, really has to shut his mouth. This is a dude that from, from, from what I, if I remember hearing correctly, he alluded to something the other day where he's talking about when he's running out of bounds, Antonio, yep. he high steps and skips because he's hoping that the officials mm -hmm. give him a call. So basically, you're coming wow. off of hurting your <laughs> knee. You're encouraging people to take shots at yep. you. All right, that's that's mistake yeah. number one. Mm -hmm. In hopes of P of getting the opposition penalized, but what do you do? You advertise that to the officials? Yeah. I mean, talk about asinine. Yeah. Because now you've alerted them to the yeah. reality that you're trying to trick the opposition into putting themselves in a position where it may incur a penalty. That may lend itself towards the officials deciding that's exactly what they don't want to do yep. because rather than just playing football, you're trying to play head games, not just with the opposition, but with the officials themselves. And you advertise this to the world, and you don't see why that's problematic. I don't understand this RG3. This <laughs> RG3 that has said, you know what, I don't want to, read, I don't want to run the read option. That's not what I want to do. The same RG3 who echoed the sentiments of his father, who decided to publicize that. Then they go out there, play this way, produce less. As a result, it renders the Redskins less effective, and this is what you have. And these are the things they're advertising. It makes no sense whatsoever. So to me, this is the game. RG3 keeps his mouth shut. He goes out there. He starts running the football even more than he did against Dallas the other night. And the Redskins take advantage of things on their home turf and finally win a game that they better win. Because they lose this game. This season's over. Thank you, Stephen A. Smith, for preaching the way you just preached against RG3. It's hard for me, too, because I still love him too much. But the whole prospect of RG3 suggesting that he's trying to deep people along the sidelines and might take a shot along the sidelines is just preposterous. Again, we saw Russell Wilson last night again and again run the read option and just get down and slide after his 8 or 10 yards or just take it right out of bounds. None of this stuff about I'm trying to get a late hit penalty. Baloney. But I'm not saying that Washington is baloney now. Stephen A., you know that I picked them to win this division, and I still believe they can, but it has to start this Sunday against the Chicago Bears at home, and I believe it will. Not only will RG3 literally turn the corner, I think Alfred Morris will too. Antonio alluded to this. That defensive line of the Bears is decimated. Alfred Morris should get a ton. Of, he should get 150 in this game. And a Redskins defense that I thought got sort of pushed off to the side the other night because, again, RG3 was so inaccurate. But the defense held Tony Romo to 170 yards passing. I think it already turned the corner because it's the same defense that turned the corner last year. So I say Redskins get on a roll here, and I'm looking, as Antonio so eloquently put it, for RG3 to be himself. I want to see that guy who was so comfortable and confident running the football last year, but you got to get down after you get your yards, and here they go. If anything I would do, I would look at Russell Wilson's film. I think last night was a clinic Beautiful. on how to do it. Beautiful. Yeah. Getting plus yardage, getting yeah. out of bounds. Guys yeah. are sitting there saying, whoa, 
Did, did he even take, take a hit last night? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, on the one where he completed the ball still well, for six yards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was okay. outstanding. Hey, guys. Yeah. What a play. Guys, you know what really it comes down to? When you bring up Russell Wilson, he is a guy that is about the business of simply trying to win football games. RG3 appears to be about something a little extra. Yep, you're right. And he's got to get back. And he's got to get back to being just simply the great talent that he is, primarily, if not totally, just focused on trying to win. The RG3 that we love, that we fell in love with, was an RG3 that we not only saw as electric that galvanized the Redskins, but they followed their leader because he seemed to be interested in absolutely, positively, nothing but winning. And now it seems like I don't know where it's coming from, where the outside influence is coming from, but he seems to be focused on other things and it has caught up with him. That is not the case with Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson lets everybody else get the shine. He's simply going out there and doing what it takes to win football games. 